Welcome back to the cabin. Another beautiful day out. It's about uh, minus, I don't know, 14 or 15 right now. Uh, came out with the dog for the weekend. Uh, supposed to get down to minus 16 tonight with like a minus 29 wind chill. So <laughs> got my work cut out for me to uh, get this cabin warmed up. I came out super early this time so I can get a fire on right away and um, yeah, I started affecting my survival immediately. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so again, it's a beauty day out, sun's high, uh, when the sun's up in your face, it's great, but once it goes away, it's, it gets pretty cold pretty quick, so nothing uh, much on the agenda for this weekend, other than uh, hanging out with the dog, who's digging away there, always looking for something, and uh, yeah, eat some good food, have a couple beer, chop some wood, it's just the same old, same old, there's really nothing else to do going on. Should be a better scenario than my bushcraft cabin because it just there was just no way that was going to happen. This one's sealed up a lot better, so uh, should be fine. Plus, it's a nice big stove. So, anyways, I'm going to uh, go get uh, situated, get a fire going right now, and uh, and then we'll figure out what to do from there. So I've been doing a little research on uh, how to start a fire properly and I feel like maybe I've been doing it wrong and I've been kind of going the wrong approach so what I'm going to try today is a little something I saw online there. Um, and just to see if it uh, improves my situation a little bit. I have no idea if it will. Uh, the idea is going to be to really kind of layer it a little better this time around. Um, I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's the same type of fire that you'd make out, you know, out in the woods. But the reality is, is that um, I hadn't been quite doing it that way. So uh, today I'm just going to put in the uh, paper in there, and then I'm going to put the smaller stuff on it, some bigger stuff, and slightly bigger stuff, and kind of build it up, and then see what happens from there. Like I'm trying to get nice hot fires going quickly early, but it just hasn't been working out. I even bought a, a chimney sweep to clean it out just to make sure that I hadn't like built up too much creosote or something like that. Like I just kind of cover all my bases. Oh, and I also bought a, a poker set. <laughs> poker set. Uh, a set to. Uh, deal with the coals and whatnot, so that's awesome. Uh, hopefully I don't have to burn my hands too many more times. Uh, the point being is now I can kind of draw out some of that wood without, without burning myself horribly, which I did do many, many times already. So once I get this built up, I'll light her up. got to make sure the dampener is open and the air intake is all raring to go. Sad state of affairs when flyers are more uh, valuable to me starting a fire than uh, actually saving me money. All right, so that's the smaller stuff. I think I'll just make like a right there. Then we're gonna put some larger stuff there, and then even larger stuff on top of that, and then hopefully. Uh, That'll burn down just a little bit and then I'll start throwing kind of mid-sized stuff up and then kind of go from there. Who is it? What's going on, pal? 
I am uh, going to forgo the, the fire making rituals of the out, outdoors and just get her done today. <laughs> and uh, hopefully this all works. Okay, so everything seems to be working out okay, uh, slow as she goes, but uh, I don't know, It's I just needed this stove to draw more air, and uh, I, I, I'm trying a lot of things, because this is pretty new to me, I have, uh, my, my girlfriend's dad has a, a, has a stove, wood stove, and, and gave me some suggestions on how to, to work with this. What I'd been doing the last few times is cleaning them all out, and it wasn't getting very good fire, at least starting fire. So I'm going to try, and I know, buddy, I'm going to try to. Uh, she uh, she can hear things like probably the coyotes and stuff across the way or other animals, so she starts barking. So she's a bit of a barker, unfortunately. Uh, probably cold too, aren't you, buddy? Aren't you? Anyways, uh, yeah. So it's just uh, what we're trying to do. In terms of figuring out how this system works the best so far so good this seems really good so uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on it and uh, hopefully we'll have a nice roaring fire and get the temperature up you can you can tell it's pretty cold in here everybody everybody okay so this fire has been a rough go to get started I had some wet wood in there like because I'm collecting from the woods it's it's all wet to get started so uh, Right now what I'm doing is I'm just processing some kindling uh, with the driest stuff I can find so that if I need to ramp up the fire real quick then I can do that. Um, this seems really dry but uh, only time will tell and I find if I can get it hot it's just the fire takes off but until I get it hot it, it doesn't so uh, yeah it's just it's not perfect I'm gonna have to do a lot of preparation next uh, spring to get this better because I can't have I can't have this I need dry 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 wood so like it seems really dry but it's just a pine tree I cut down that was dead standing and now some had its bark on it and the bark uh, wasn't wet, but obviously it keeps in a certain amount of moisture. So, so I separated all the stuff over here with all the stuff that still have like the bark on it. So, what I might do is find see if I can find a way to to um, basically get that bark off it at some point in time. I just and figure how and it might just come down to splitting it a couple more times so you know it's already pretty small but you know I need firewood I don't give two shits whether uh, whether it's small at this point it's really more about getting anything going and this is the this is the size I've been kind of going for not too big so when I like the initial fire I can put a lot of these guys on and then if I need smaller then I can do that, but then I'll keep a few of these bigger guys for, you know, whatever I need to do, so. Anyway, all right, you warm enough? Warm enough? Yes. Yeah. Who's a good puppy dog? This is my dog, Cass. Beauty dog, 10 years old, a little older than that. She's a good dog. A little crazy, like the rest of us, but. Good dog, aren't you? Mwah. So right now I'm just trying to keep this guy going. Uh, I think I'll put uh, I think I'll put uh, put a tee on, and puppy's all wrapped up in her blanket. And uh, yeah, just slowly warm the place up. It's like six or seven degrees in here, so it's gone up almost 20 degrees since we lit the fire. So that's good. And uh, yeah, and then split up some more of this kindling. Uh, I think. Uh, I think uh, it's a good option 
to have a lot of kindling so if I need a quick fire to heat up real quick then having a lot of this little small kindling is going to come in pretty handy I think so uh, I think I'll take take my knife and split this up a little bit more and um, have a good stock for the evening and then kind of reevaluate tomorrow but for now I just need enough to get through so is what it is Okay, so I dug out the area a little bit, uh, really can't get down too far, there's a big layer of ice here, so. What I wanted to do is I wanted to cut this tree down behind me here, um, as you can see, you might not be able to see in the camera, but I've moved all these fresh logs out of the way, uh, they're kind of getting in the way now, I don't really have a spot for them as they dry out, so I have to probably cut them up soon, but they're frozen solid. Anyways, the tree I need's there, and... It's really in an awkward spot. Hopefully, I can uh, bring this guy down and uh, get some more firewood. So, I don't know if I'm going to do any adventuring out today because with the dog, it makes it very difficult. But, eh, we'll give it a go. A little punky, but uh, might, some, might be some decent wood in there. I'm going to have to take this guy down because I can't get a full swing in, unfortunately. And I want to do this as safely as possible, so I'm going to take this guy out. chipping away. I'm gonna, just so it's not a hazard, I'm gonna send it down that way and then, and uh, yeah, I just have to go look for more wood, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty pooched. That sucks. Well, well, that didn't work out as I'd hoped, unfortunately. I think I'll have to go scouring for some wood. That means I'll take my axe and the sled. I think I'll have to leave the dog behind, maybe. Actually, it's pretty warm out. I might be able to get away. Yeah, I might do that. Um, See if, uh, see if I can't find something close by. There's not a lot here. There are a few dead standing hardwood trees. Um, maybe I can pilfer something off them and just kind of keep it all going. Either that or I'll find more pine than like the one I found, which was great. So let's go see if we can find something. Well, that was uh, rather unproductive, I would say, overall. Uh, I got a couple pieces of wood, but nothing spectacular enough to maybe keep my supply going for a little while longer. It's almost impossible to do anything with the dog around, like in terms of getting around, because I have to keep her on a leash because she'll take off if I don't. So, yeah, it is what it is. So, that was a lot of running around, not a lot of gun. So, I think what I'll do is um, get dried off a little bit. I'm covered in snow from the waist down. And uh, I think what I'll do, I know, buddy. We'll have a little quick snack here and then uh, have to take Muttley for a walk, I think. Yeah, do you want to go for a walk? Yeah, she definitely needs a good walk. So so we'll do that for the moment and uh, kind of go from there. Mm. I know, buddy.
All right, good morning. What a what a long night that was. It's uh it's got pretty cold, it's probably minus 16, minus 17 in the end. Uh not too much wind, which was good. So we went for a walk. I I filmed a little bit, but there was really nothing to um to capture. Although a funny incident, I was uh, trying to film the ice and uh, my lens cap fell into the water and then floated down the stream. And in good judgment, I didn't jump in the water and I followed it down for, I don't know, 10, 15 meters maybe and uh, disappeared. I couldn't see it anymore. I was like, oh no, it's gotten too far. So I ran down, checked the spot, waited a minute, went a little further checked a little bit more to see if it came through. It's like, <sighs> lost my lens cap. And it's like, you know, I mean, I like the lens cap because it says Canon on it and da 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 But I mean, I can get a replacement. I just didn't want to spend the money. And uh, so I was walking back and the dogs were running around barking and stuff because I had the dog with me. And uh, I said, well, I'll go back and I'll look one more time where I lost it. Just and maybe knock some of the ice and see if I figure it out. But yeah, it uh, was sitting right there, right in the center of the water hit a leaf or a stick or something and it just propped right up and it had cannon written I could see it right through the water. It's just like how lucky is that? Speaking of lucky, this dog here is the best dog ever because remember in my last video I mentioned I lost my sheath or one of my sheaths? Um, well I lost one filming the short film in uh, somewhere in the fields. She found it the other day. She was just digging around an area that we had been in and there it was and my girlfriend was took her out for walking. So I got that back, so that's good. That's a win. A little karma there, I think, or something. Anyways, I'm going to stop prattling on. I'm going to get some bacon and eggs going. I got, uh, and some sausages. But this time I think I'm going to make a, um, kind of like a breakfast sandwich. So I brought a little ciabatta buns, I think, ciabatta. Anyways, I got some buns for it and uh, slice off a little bit of cheese and uh, bacon and eggs. Should be good. All right, talk soon. Careful. Don't burn yourself, buddy. Don't burn yourself. I know with sausages, you like the sausages, don't you, buddy? Special treats for puppies. So I just figured I'd show you in a little more detail. This is... I don't know if I can focus on that. Lucas, there we go. So that's the knife Craig gave me. It's an absolutely beautiful knife. Um, I worked with it a lot yesterday, battening wood and things like that, and just general carving and shavings and whatnot, and it's been working out great. So yeah, it's a beauty knife. It weighs about 14 ounces without the sheath, so I imagine it's probably close to a pound with the sheath. Um, yeah, 90 degrees spine, good for throwing sparks. Extremely robust knife. Just killer.
Doesn't look like much, but it's not too shabby. I think it looks pretty good to me, so. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom. These uh, longer ones here, I end up usually after cutting them in two, just to get them started. They're not too heavy, but uh, it's just much easier to manage. So, we'll get my uh, saw and uh, get her done. looks really dry so that's really good I was hoping that it would be you just never know with the way moisture works whether it's gonna sit into the soft wood or not sometimes you get lucky sometimes you don't this one I'm lucky beautiful morning this morning that's for sure it's really nice out. it's pretty cold but uh, the great thing about this camp is the wind doesn't get down in here as heavy so if you were up the hill a bit it would definitely hit you a lot harder but with the sun's with that with the sun out, that makes it a lot better for sure. I'm really enjoying today. It's The sun's out super high. It's so nice to be out here. It's too bad the dog can't stay out a bit longer. The, uh, it's a little too cold on her paws, unfortunately. So, Anyways, I'm going to get some work done. Uh, I'm hoping to cut another tree down, but we'll wait and see. I just got to muscle through this, uh, have, get my arms going, and get it done, I need wood, and I need it fast.
it's all rotten at the top. Waste of time. I can't use it. Not, not like the other one I had. That sucks. Now it's blocking my path, so now I gotta chop it up to get rid of it. Uh, it's so frustrating when you're just trying to get something to get by and you think you're about to hit a gold mine and you don't hit the gold mine. Anyways, onwards and upwards. Back to the drawing board. Sure. Alright guys, that's it for me today. I'm just uh, just cleaning up here. The dog's getting anxious. She, yeah, she kind of knows we're going. So, uh, got a little more cleaning up to do. Some sweeping and stuff, but I won't bore you with any of those details. But, uh, yeah, it was a great overnight. It's nice and toasty and warm. Again, I think it's because I came really early that uh, I got the place warmed up. Easy, buddy. We're going to go. He's probably staring down that egg sandwich over there. Um, yeah, and uh, it was. I think it was way better to get here and, and get it all warmed up before uh, before nighttime hit. So that helped a lot. So anyways, I got a little extra wood, so that's good. I got a little work done. That's great. I think the next time I'm out, I probably won't film at all. I, thought I'd barely take my camera and... And put in some hard hours doing doing woodwork. Yeah, I'm gonna get going. So yeah, that's it for me, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button down below and uh, subscribe if you can. That'd be awesome. Um, if not, I will see you on the next video. And I have no idea when that will be. Well, gang, that's it for me today. I got all that wood prepped. Uh, I didn't find any more. I didn't ever really have time. I got to get out of here for the day. So. It's been a fun, uh, fun overnight. It was, it was really good. Like it was a lot warmer than the last one, and my camera's falling. All right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, it's a beautiful day out. I got to get home and do schoolwork. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for me today. I'm just, uh, just cleaning up here. The dog's getting anxious. She, yeah, she kind of knows we're going. So uh, I think it's because I came really early that uh, I got the place warmed up. Easy, buddy. We're gonna go. He's probably staring down that egg sandwich over there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, anyways guys, thanks for joining me out at the cabin and uh, it's been a good time and hopefully I'll see you out here next week or the week after that or the week after that or the week after that or sometime.